Hey guys, welcome to Barrick Mitsubishi. My name is Manny. Today we're gonna do a walk around video on 2024 Mitsubishi Outlander plug-in hybrid in Exceed model. And now, so firstly, Mitsubishi Outlanders in PHEV, they come with 10 years warranty on the car or 200,000 kilometers factory warranty, either which comes first. And 10 years of car press servicing as well. You service your car for 15,000 kilometers of fixed price for all 10 years. And moreover, roadside assistance, there's four years with RACV from Mitsubishi. And now, so we're gonna do a walk around video from the front and we're gonna do the rest with the all exterior of the car. And now, when you come to the front, so this is the exterior of Outlander Exceed in PHEV. So basically this car comes with the daytime running lights. They run all the time and with the indicators in them. And they also come with the auto headlights and auto high beam and low beam. So according to the darkness, while you're driving in the night times, in the dark or countryside, the headlights spread out. And any car comes from the front, the beep go down. And again, the car passes away, they go up again. And you get projector LED headlights as well at the bottom. And you get LED fog lights. And you get front parking sensors all around, which it's a good protection for you on the front. And moreover, Exceed comes with a 360 degree camera. So it's easier to know the front angle of the car and easy when you park it in the car parks or in front of the house or in a squishy roads. Now, so it has also got the important device of Barrick Mitsubishi and uh, as in Outlanders, that's a forward collision mitigation device. If you don't break the car, car breaks it for you in three beeps. It's like a, it protects you from collision. All right, now, when you come to the other side, we're gonna start from the passenger and we're gonna go to the driver's side later. And now, when you come here, you can see the 20 inch diamond cut dual tone alloys. So where you get, it's a dual tone faded with, with the silvery gloss and the black gloss finish and you get low high profile tire as well. And now, you can see here the PHEV badgings in here, so which represents you're driving a plug-in hybrid model. And moreover, it comes with the 360 degree camera and there's the indicators in the side mirrors as well. And moreover, you're gonna get automatic OVR mirrors. When you lock the car, the mirrors fold in. When you unlock the car, the mirrors come out. And now, when you see in here, the car comes with blind spots as well. When someone's, when there's other car in front of you in the beside line, you get blind spots on side mirrors. When the light comes up on side mirrors, you need not go into the other lane. And now, more of a note on the blind spots, you get rear traffic alert as well. So while you're reversing your car, any car comes from the other side, you get rear traffic alerts on the car as well. And even the car has got the rear emergency braking as well. So it's a full protection for you both on the front and the rear. Now. You're gonna get auto entry into the car, both the driver's side and passenger door. Now, let's start from the passenger. Look at the Exceed model. So the interior, the interior in Exceed, you can choose two options. One comes with the full black interior and the other one is a light gray leather interior. So now we're gonna go with the light gray leather interior. So you're gonna get fully leather wrapped interior fully leather wrapped, and you get memory seats as well. So from Exceed, Exceed Tourers and the GSR, they're the top of the range models, they're all gonna have the full leather seats and memory seats in them. Now, you can set the memory seats for two levels. So you need not adjust the seats all the time. When you or your partners or whenever you're driving, you can set the levels and it's fixed all the time for you. Now, so let me jump into the car. Now. The seats are in full leather, very comfortable seats, and you have got the electric seats as well. So electric seats with the lumbar support. You can see the lumbar support, and which is very comfortable when you sit in the car, and very comfortable in the long drives. And you have got the nice storage glove box, and you have got the full leather wrapped interior, and even this is leather as well. So whole leather is interior and you have got the Bosch premium speakers and that's for the front passenger. And now, let's go to the back. So this is the rear passenger of the car. And now you can see how much legroom space it has got. 
and you can see the seats have been pushed to the back. The seats have been pushed to the back, still have got the huge legroom space. And now, when you come with the rear passenger doors, you have got the roll-up sunshades. So these roll-up sunshades are very useful functions in summer. You can protect yourself from UV heat. And they only come up from Exceed, Exceed Tourers and GSRs. And now, so let me jump into the car and you can see the legroom space in here. I'm five foot ten tall. You can see how comfortable I am in, in the rear passenger of an Outlander Exceed PHEV. The seats are comfortable, good legroom space and good headroom space as well. Still, the Exceed model comes with the panoramic sunroof. Even having the panoramic sunroof, it's pretty comfortable sitting five foot ten at the back. And now you have got the nice cabin lights in here, and you can see. The car has got the nice storage at the back of the seats and that's for the tabs, that's for the mobile holders and extra storage in here. And moreover, you will have the rear AC vents at the back for the passengers and moreover, the passengers who sit at the back, they can control their own temperatures at the back. And now it comes with the USB-C type and A type at the back and moreover, this comes with a glove box as well. This comes with a nice armrest and with the cup holders in them. And now, let's go to the back. And now, so with the PHEV guys, there's a two options. One's for the fuel and one's for the battery. Now let's go with the fuel. So when the car is logged, the fuel lid will be logged. So the fuel lid, for the PHEV models is not the push one. There's a button to unlock it from inside. You press the button, the fuel it opens. And then you need to close it just for the safety reasons because this is being the PHEV. And now, let's come to the rear end of the car. You can see the car has got the nice, beautiful LED tail lights. And they give you good vision in the night time, so it's at the back. And now, you have got the nice brake light in here which gives a good safety for the passenger or the customer who's driving at the back. And now, you have got the Outlander batching in here, and nice Mitsubishi logo, and PHEV, and with the Exceed model, which model you're driving in. If it's the Aspire, you get Aspire, GSR, or Exceed Tourer, right? And moreover, the car will have the reverse camera, and it has got the parking sensors, and it has got the kick sensor as well. So keys in your pocket, when you kick underneath, the boot opens automatically for you. So now, let's get into the storage. So now, this is the Exceed model with the seven seats. So now, Exceed model comes with the, there's a separate charger in here. There's a separate brand new storage charger. So you need not buy the charger, it comes free with the car. And now, you doesn't need a separate mounting setup in your house to use this charger. You can just check it into normal 12 volts power socket for you. All right, and that's one in for you. And moreover, Mitsubishi also gives you the fast charger. It's a similar kind of a charger, but this will have the fast charger mounting setup, which is helpful when you go for shopping centers or highways. When you have the fast charger, you can use a fast charger, but Mitsubishi gives you with that. All right, and now this is the seven seats. So the seven seats mechanism is you can roll them down and you can use the seven seats, but it's flat now. All right, now one more important feature of the PHEV. Now you can see here, you have got the 220 to 240 volts power socket in here. So where you can use your portable coffee maker, popcorn maker, camping lights, where you can use it as a multi-purpose um, in using the battery of the car. All right, and now you can close the boot that's the rear end of the car. And now, let's go to the driver's side. Now, the main part of the PHEV, one of the main functions. Now, if you see the fuel lid, you need not, there's a no button to unlock the fuel lid from inside for the battery charger. So just, it's just a push. When the car is unlocked, if you press it, it opens. And in order to lock it, just push it. If the car is locked, the fuel lid is locked. All right? So now, this is done, and now, 
you have got the two sections to charge your car. So once for the home charger, which is standard for all the PHEVs, I would suggest this is what we use it all the time, and that's the fast charger. And you chuck your charger in here, and the other, the other plug goes to 12 volts, and charge it overnight, and you can use the car in a daily use. And now, you can see in here, it's the rear end of the passenger, you get huge legroom space, and the cabin space is huge. It's a nice holiday car, very comfortable for the long drives, and you do get the sunshades on both the sides. And they all come with the automatic power windows. One touch up. Now, so when you go to the driver's side, as I have, you guys know very well about the blind spots and auto entry into the car. And let's start the important features into the interior. Let's jump in. All right, guys, let's start with the interior of the PHEV Outlander Exceed model now. So now, you can see the nice leather wrapped interior. You're gonna get all automatic power windows for all the four sides, lock and unlock button in here, and you get your side mirror controls on the driver's side. And you get your memory seats where you can set them for two levels. All right, now let me jump into the car and go through the, some important features of the car. Now, so we're gonna go through some important features of the car. So you get the nice leather wrapped steering wheel and you get steering controls both onto the left side and the right side as well. So we'll, let's start with the right side. You're gonna get the cruise control as well as the My Pilot. So this option, what it does is automatically if you select the option while you're driving on the freeway, it simultaneously uses a cruise, also keeps you in the lane and it's like a self-driving car. It's like a My Pilot which keeps you in the lane all the time. But you need to at least touch the steering wheel or hold the steering wheel for that. And now you also get the speed limit where you can use the speed limit or lock the speed for a particular speed. The more you accelerate, the car acceleration doesn't go up. The speed is locked till 60 kilometers or 80 kilometers, whatever you lock this certain speed, but it's still you accelerate, the speed doesn't go up. Now, so when you come, you have got the adaptive cruise control as well, which slows you down on the freeway. So you've got three levels of settings where it's like a three meters, two meters, one meter, and you can use three settings according to your convenience while you're using on the freeway and it avoids you from the collisions automatically it slows you down so just you need to check your side mirrors move into the other lane and the car automatically pulls you to 100 and moreover when you come with the left side steering controls you have got the volume up and down and you have got the all information on the screen so this is a digital dash when the car is off the screen will be off. When the car is on, you get analog and digital clusters as well. And moreover, if you see the home screen in here, the home screen will give you the general information of the car, which directions you're driving in, what FM station you're using, you're using Spotify or YouTube for the songs. And next, it gives you the information, how many kilometers you're driven, what's the range you drive, and what's the average. And now, when you go to the next car mechanism, you can get the engine option and the battery option in here and you get the wheels. So the screen shows you the car, which mode is it using is. So it, either it's using battery or the engine, is which power is producing through to the wheels. And now, so when it comes to the, it has got the inbuilt navigation. So when you use the inbuilt navigation in here, it's just similar to Google Maps. If you press the destination, enter your address, it will take you there. So when you're using Google Maps or when you're using the inbuilt navigation, you get directions here as well as you get directions on the digital dash as well. And moreover, you're going get to get the directions on the heads up display as well. Heads up display comes with what kilometers you drive and what's the range of the road, like 80 zone, 100 zone or 60 zone or 50 zone. So if you exceed the limit, it starts blinking for you and it's a nice function as well. And moreover, you see these three little dots? So these are the settings, like where you can change the display view as well. So you can change the display. So this is like a sports mode. So you can use this as well. And now, moreover, you get audio, driver assistance, and personal display. So these are all the settings. You can just choose what you wanted in them. And moreover, you can see these pedal shifters. They are like a manual pedal shifters for you. And moreover, the car comes with auto headlights and auto rain sensing wipers and auto headlights 
and it comes with auto high beam and low beam as well and moreover the car comes with the headlight that's a brightness and that's for the fuel and that's for the heads up display and that's to lock and unlock the boots and that's to unlock the charger so and now the car comes with the push start button and now it's ready if you can see the digital dash you get the analog as well as you get the digital speedometer and you get the speed of the road and as well as you get the EV charging options displays you have as well so if you see the battery this is you can drive now the battery is up to almost like fully charged and you can drive up to 74 kilometers and that's for the fuel and it's both battery and petrol combined you can drive 317 kilometers so now you can see in the only the PHEVs has got an option you can see this EV this is the notation where the car shows you with the needle when you accelerate it shows only it's driving in EV mode and as soon as you as this car has got the regenerative braking even the car charges and regeneration happens even while you brake so the needle goes down so you can see the even the needle goes down the blue option comes in so that's a way how you can recognize oh the car is charging while you brake as well and now if you can see from 0 to 10 the rpm this is what when this kicks in that's a petrol engine is working now so the petrol engine is using more power and as well as you can if you charge your full battery and your full tank of fuel you can drive up to about 850 2000 kilometers depending on what the driving conditions are all right let's move to the panoramic sunroof now so panoramic sunroof comes with the shade and the sunroof it's a glass roof on the rooftop now you need not use the panoramic sunroof or open it all the time but there is an option of enjoying the sunlight now there's a button for both the sunroof and the shade one touch up the shade opens now where you, where you can use the option and enjoy the sunlight and in case if you wanted the fresh air still you can use the sunroof there's a button separate button for the sunroof you can open the sunroof so they are the most useful functions of the panoramic sunroof and you will love the drive enjoying the panoramic sunroof now you have got the this is a touchscreen 9 inch touchscreen infotainment system with the wireless carplay and wide for android auto and moreover this has got the 360 degree camera so you can do this has got the HD view and it has got the bird view where you can see the side angles as well and moreover you can see different angles of the car so if you press again if you can see the left wheel so this function I would say this is more useful because when you park your car near to the curbs as this have got the 20 inch alloys with the low profile tire it helps you not to scratch the alloys so this is one of the very helpful function as well and you can see these lines these lines indicate this is the edge of the side mirror so that when you in a squishy place or when you're parking somewhere still you can see all oh, there is my side mirror and if you press it again you get the you get the different angle again so you get the front camera that's for the front and that's all the modes you get in there and if you go to menu so this is how all the touch screen you can use inbuilt navigation and you can use the connections, you can use CarPlay, and this is a audio system. And either it's both comfortable, either you can use the buttons or you can use the touchscreen. And now, car comes with the push start button, you get the hazard lights, and it comes with the dual zone climate control system, both for the driver and passenger. He can use different temperatures, and which is very comfortable while you drive. And moreover, it also comes with heated seats. So these are the options for the heated seats and front demister, rear demister and moreover the car comes with one of the one of the function which is a love in the Outlanders is the heated steering wheel where the steering wheel heats up while you drive. So a very useful function in the winters mainly in the cold climate conditions and now this has got the rear aircon controlled temperatures as well. So the rear ASC vents you can control the temperatures at the back and you can that's a fan speed up and down and that's a different modes like a face legs legs and front demister and the face internal circulation and you've got the a type and the c type um, usb cables as well and now you get the 12 volts power socket 
and moreover you get the wireless charger and now you the transmission you press the button and drag it down now it's in D and you can see drive on the screen as well as the reverse press this button push it up as soon as you're in the reverse condition you get the reverse camera and 360 degree camera as well and you know to park the car just press P button on it and now Moreover, these PHEVs, all the PHEVs in Outlanders, they're all all-wheel drive. So now, when it comes to the all-wheel drive, you have got the different driving conditions. So if you see these, see these different modes, so you can flick them while you drive. So it has got the normal mode. So normal mode is automatically the car is designed. While you're driving in the normal mode, it automatically recognizes what condition the car is, what condition the road is. As well as you see this echo mode, as soon as you flick it to echo mode on the screen it comes as a echo mode and moreover if it's normal it comes as a normal on the screen so you may you may get a question oh can i flick it while you drive yes you can flick it while you drive and echo mode gives you good fuel economy you can use it echo mode all the time as well and power so power mode gives you more so the power is supplied to the wheels from the battery and the engine so it, where you can take the car easily and now you get tarmic road, which is very useful on the tarmic road conditions. And you get the gravel road. It's a very useful function when you drive in the off-roading. And you get the snow mode when you go to the snow ranges or snow places. I think this function is very useful. And now it's a proper off-roading car. So you can take this car even in the mud, muddy roads, anywhere in Australia. Any driving conditions, you can use the car. So you can flick it while you drive, it's a peace of mind now. And auto, auto hold and electric power brake. Auto hold is it's a useful function when you wait at the signal or when you stop the car, automatically the electric brake comes in. So even the car is on a drive mode, still the electric brakes will be on. And then you need not take the brake off again, just to accelerate, the electric brake goes off. And this is the electric power brake, we can do this manually. And now, one of the main functions of the car. So this is where the exact PHEV, you can use it now. You see this pedal symbol? As soon as you press the pedal symbol, you get a green symbol on the dash. So this represents, there is a regenerative, innovative pedal is being on. So how it, you can experience while you drive it, but still I can explain you. So while you're driving, when you're, while your pedal is on accelerator, while you're driving the car, so as soon as you take the foot off from the back accelerator, the car slows you down when you use the innovative regenerative braking. So what it does is simultaneously charges the car, also it slows you down. And you may, you may go to the question, oh, does this use the electric brakes? Not at all. So it doesn't use the brake pads as well. So it is stopped by the battery. So it is more useful function. So when you take the foot off from the accelerator, it just slows you down. So you get such type of function in BMW i3 and BMW iX5 as well. And now, now it has comes, PHEV Outlander comes in four EV modes. If you press this option, you see these four modes on the screen. Normal mode. So normal mode is designed, so the engine and the battery, the mechanism, the, the mechanism of the, the car is designed, which mode to use it. So either you can use normal mode all the time because car can now either to use battery or petrol first but by default when the battery is full the car only utilizes the battery in the first 85 kilometers as soon as the battery has been drained the car switches to petrol engine automatically you doesn't even know the car has switched to petrol engine until unless you see the dash and the charging percentage and moreover if you use another option as an ev EV mode is a mode where it uses fully electric. You can see on the dash where you can see the power has been supplied to all the wheels through the battery. So it supply the power is given from the battery to the wheels up to 85 kilometers or whatever option you choose. So if you choose EV or normal, you get an option what you have chosen, you get an indication here so that it's easy or oh, which mode are you using. And now if you use a save, so save is an option where the car saves the more battery and doesn't use the battery at all while you drive. So simultaneously it uses more petrol engine, 
while you drive. So where you can use that battery either for the city driving or you know you want to use that battery for your multi-purpose, you're going on a trips for your charges or popcorn maker, coffee maker or like multi-purpose like a camping lights. Yep. And now moreover as this is a regenerative braking car or regeneration because while you drive on the petrol engine the battery charges simultaneously. Moreover you have got an option of charging the car with the petrol engine. So as soon as you select the option you can see the power has been supplied from the a petrol engine to the battery. So what it happens is while you drive in charge mode when there is no charge on the car in the battery but you want to use the battery still you can use that. So in this option what happens is the petrol engine uses more fuel to charge the battery. So more power is supplied from engine to the battery. So I would suggest so you can use charge but there would be a bit of fuel consumption on it. I would suggest normal and EV mode are the useful functions to get good fuel economy on PHEVs. So this is a multi-purpose car and moreover so you get all the options and all the functions whatever you selected they all comes up on the digital dash as well and the car is smoother while you drive and even while you drive on petrol engine the car drives the same it's very smoother and very relaxed as well it's a comfortable car to drive all right guys that's a walk around video of 2024 mitsubishi outlander phev in exceed model apart from that we also do the finance options available at the dealership where our business managers Kevin and Julie are going to give you the best finance options available at Barrick Mitsubishi. And thanks for watching the video. And moreover, we also do the exterior protection of the car, where we do the ceramic coating paint protections, tinted windows, dash cams, and the Omni screens for your kids. And Dan D'Souza are going to go through in detail when you visit the dealership. And for further queries or to book an appointment for a test drive or to know more information about the PHEVs, Contact Beric Mitsubishi New Cars. My name is Manny. Happy to help you and thanks for watching the video. Have a good day.